The challenge was to design the most beautiful and distinctive office building in the world. The requirements were that the office building was 260 feet tall, situated on the corner of Michigan Avenue and the Chicago River, and could rise up to 400 feet with a non-occupiable top. The Chicago Tribune provided these concise guidelines when they invited architects of all nations to design the newspaper's new headquarters and offered $100,000 in prize money to architects with the most notable designs. They believed that architects would be on equal footing when designing a landmark building for the Michigan Avenue Gateway. However, they didn't take into account the one advantage Americans had over their European colleagues, their understanding of the relationship of architecture to business and society in the context of the modern city. In 1922, when the competition was announced, Chicago did not yet have a zoning ordinance, but fairly stringent height restrictions had been incorporated into the city's building laws since the 1880s. The American entries understood the design approach implied by these laws and by the Tribune's office building program. The result was a series of designs with the same lower office block, 16 to 20 stories high, that filled the permitted occupiable building envelope with floor after floor of well-lit office space. The variety came mostly above the office block where non-occupied elements were not bound by Tribune's functional requirements. On top, a display of towers, domes, and other decorative features helped distinguish one American architect from another. The European proposals, in contrast, were considered outlandish, not only for the office building program, but also for the general configuration of American cities' business districts. With little to no experience designing skyscrapers, European architects sacrificed business practicality for a more monumental form. American architects John Mead Howells and Raymond Hood took first place, prevailing over 260 entries received. Their winning design kept the predominant form of the tall office building, but added a Gothic ornamental tower that invoked the tradition and prestige of European architecture. The Chicago Tribune competition provided an important forum to present the changing attitudes in American architecture. The competition helped articulate the architecture of the skyscraper, which continues to influence the character of Chicago's skyline.